What's up, people? Oh, if you weren't aware, I'm keeping it gangster. What's up? Yeah, in between the heavy metal stage and getting into classic rock, I was gangster for a while. That's right. Don't laugh. You know I came correct. I got 17 Raiders hats to prove it. What's up? No, anyway, so what's going on, people? Yeah. Strangeness going on, right? Strange when Jefferson crawls on the right side of stuff. That's why when I do have a firm of my own, that's where the stress relief girls come in. Because just imagine, if you were happen to going against me the last couple of days, you might be getting your ass kicked for once. Generally, I'm feeding you money. You probably have enough cash to withstand a couple of days. But the stress relief rooms, you're going to be able to get massages, you have your beverages. And for you women out there, we'll have manicures and pedicures at the firm. My dream will soon be reality. Anyway, I actually was working yesterday. While the market was crashing, I was at a sell-side analyst meeting, and they were pitching some ideas for me. These are the same guys that gave me AMD, which, would you believe the stock was up yesterday while the market was getting hammered? Very impressive. Very impressive. But what we came away with was a company called Aria. A-R-I-A. If you look at the chart, it's on, a, it's on a pretty decent run, so generally it's the kind of stock that I normally won't buy. It was $4, and now it's over 5 it's a pretty decent move for a $4 stock, um, but we're being told that things are looking good for the company. A-R-I-A, it's Ariad Pharmaceuticals, all right? Now, here's what I want to talk to you about. I'm not going to come at you and start spewing all the codes and numbers that they were talking about and the effigy and uh, all the, you know, <laughs> clinical terms that they were throwing at me because that was all going over my head. You know, I'm just thinking, okay, stock price and where's it going? Um, so here's where, what, what, what we're up to. This is a company that has a lot of things going on. Right now, they have lawsuits pending with Eli Lilly and Amgen. So there's a lot of things going on there. They're suing that they own the rights to a pathway on how to create certain drugs, which it's, it looks like it's going to be a long road as far as that, those court cases are, are concerned. So we're not going to even concern ourselves with those. But what the company does is they have a, let's just call it a, can, a, a tumor shrinking drug. It's pretty incredible. The guy explained how he had a tumor in somebody that was the size of a grapefruit and they brought it down to a marble. And I'm trying to break it down to you as, as in you know as layman terms as far as I, I what I took away with it. But here's my only problem. Now on Wall Street, I don't know how you do your analysis. There's technical analysis, there's fundamental analysis, you have to go to school and all that stuff and get yourself a Harvard degree and think that you can crunch numbers and figure out what the stock's gonna do. Then we have the chartists and the technical analysis people who we'll look at the same chart, we're all looking at the same charts, we all see that 12 and a half looks like a good base and then it's a self-fulfilling prophecy if we all think that 12 and a half is the base and we're all looking at the same chart, chances are the stock's gonna go up. I like technical better than fundamental because fundamental, as we've learned, could be fudged. But most importantly is management. I can't say that enough. You could have a great company, you could have a great chart, whatever, but if your company's not being run well, eventually that will catch up to you. And if you can trust the management, that is a very, very big thing as far as the people who are institutionally buying the stock, which is what you want. Now here I got away, what I took away from this meeting is, yeah, you have a great drug. Yeah, the stock looks like it's on the way up. But the guy that was doing the presentation was wearing a toupee. How am I gonna trust you? Whatever you're saying to me, all I'm looking at is that big hairy rug sitting on top of your dome. You know? Embrace it. We lose our hair. It's okay. What are you going to do? But you're telling me all this data and telling me how great your company is, and all I'm thinking is that you're lying. If you're going to stand up there and try to convince me that you have hair, then I'm not going to listen to anything that you're saying. I don't care. Maybe you have the cure for cancer. I think you're lying. But you know what? You did convince me. I, I kind of liked what you were saying, and I do like the chart. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. The company is Ariad Pharmaceuticals, A-R-I-A, and I think it was the CEO. He wears a toupee. And if he's watching the show, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm exposing you. Let it go. Let it go. All right? It looks like somebody shot something, put some roadkill on your head. Get over it. It's all right. We look better. You don't have to worry about hat hair anymore. You can go wear any hat you want and not have to worry about it. 
Anyway, take a look at it, A-R-I-A. -A. I'm still short the cues, and I'm not covering. I'm not covering probably until next Friday. So next week's option expiration, I'm going to try to find you some nickel and dime options that we can make thousands of percent of our money. And uh, keep linking me up, keep commenting. I'll probably be here all day, and I will see you soon.